My Hometown, brought to you by new Giuseppe Pizzeria Garlic Fingers by Dr. Rutger. This is a real passionate place. If you want to be a hockey player, you want to be immersed in the game. And you want to play in front of, you know, people that truly, truly care about you, you know, then this is a good place to play. This is the third season Connor Hellebuck has been the starting goaltender for the Winnipeg Jets. He has learned about the passion and support of the people in southern Manitoba firsthand. In fact, one of those people changed the course of his career. Describe my relationship with Ray. That's tough. Well, I think switching to him was one of the uh, most important and crucial things that I could have done for myself. He only wants to see me succeed. And when you surround yourself with people that only want you to succeed, you know, you find a way. Ray Petco is one of Steinbeck, Manitoba's roughly 16,000 residents and the only one who's an NHL player agent. Everybody always is shocked when they find out I live in Steinbeck. When we moved here, being nine years old, that was the first time I'd ever watched hockey. My mom was able to put me in minor hockey when I was 13. I just fell in love with the game. Playing led to scouting and scouting led Petco to starting his own agency. 2001 is when I got my first client, left the scouting world and made a run for it. But I didn't want to join any other agencies. I wanted to cut my own path. Three years ago, 60 kilometers north of Steinbeck, the Winnipeg Jets handed the starting goalie job to a 22-year-old Connor Hellebuck. Something felt a little bit off that entire season. I even told my coach at the end of the season, like, don't expect that to be my end-all, be-all. That's, I haven't reached my potential yet, and I know I have more to offer. Big save made by Connor Hellebuck. Joe Clark, he's one of my old goalie coaches from juniors, and he just kept telling me, you need to have a conversation with Ray. I can get you going where you want to be. I thought we could help him tremendously. So we had identified a few things that we thought would help Connor if, if uh, we could work with him. Right away, he just kind of laid everything out and said, I got your back no matter what. When you have someone that believes in you like that, you can believe in yourself even more. Part of Petco's pitch included Net360, a high-performance goalie-specific training program he co-founded with trainer Adam Francilia. Oh, that summer was crazy, because I finally found something that I know is going to make me a better goaltender. I know this is exactly the muscles I use. Beyond training, the other big decision that needed to be discussed was a new contract with the Jets. After an up and down season, the options were limited, either a one year or two year extension. The one year really bent on myself and the, the summer I was having, I could already tell I was back to myself and feeling great. And I was ready to go on the net and just steal the show. You could tell that he had put in a, you know, a good summer of work. At some point in time, they go from being that young player with talent to understanding, okay, if I truly want to be a top-end player in the National Hockey League, I have to invest in myself. Hellebuck. Hellebuck delivered, as the Jet starter would win a franchise record 44 games, led them to the Western Conference Final, earning a Vesna Trophy nomination as the NHL's best goalie. He also earned himself a new six-year, $37 million contract. You have people around you that care, and that's exactly what Ray does. Ray has put this whole thing together because he cares about his community and he cares about the game. That's exactly so there's something to be said that okay. there's more than just yourself out there. Special event for your starting lineup. This guy imported his gloves from India so it'd be extra silky, Jack Kilroy. It means a lot to me that he's willing to come here to my town. It, is, it really brings the town together to see somebody like Connor Hellebuck come to a small town like Steinbeck. And finally, this guy got caught staring at a brick wall for 30 minutes because he thought he was looking in a mirror. Matthew Radomski. <laughs> My hometown, 
Brought to you by new Giuseppe Pizzeria Garlic Fingers by Dr. Rutger.